what is tail minus f? Well, perhaps that's something interesting here. Tail f slash where So what it's going to do is tail minus f. Tail, as you know, it's, it is supposed to show the tail of the message. And you can actually use it to monitor logs. Let's say there is something being installed, something's happening, some big update is happening, and there is log being updated at the same time. And you want to see that okay, as it happens real time. So if you use the F switch, it's gonna as if okay as the log being updated, it's gonna show the end of it. So it's gonna show that update whatever that is being updated. So that is a really really useful tool, right? I'm gonna press Control C to get out of it. So I'm gonna say man tail. So you have a lot of switches here. F output the last end right so. So if you want to use these switches, you can go ahead, alright? So I'm going to say Q here to quit. Then CP command. CP command copies files and directories to the present working directory R to a directory specified. Okay, important switches. Ignore. Okay, now I is prompt before overwriting, R means recursive. Alright, let's see that. Okay, first we're gonna, before we go to that, we're gonna do man copy. Okay, we're gonna go through this before you learn a command. And then I'm gonna say cp help. And I will go through this. And I'm gonna say. for CP. Okay, since I've gone through all of that, now let's try CP. I mean, I didn't go through this, I'm just letting you know that is how you're supposed to do. Alright, clear, less. So we have, what do we have here? Let's go ahead and create a file touch. Genie. Okay, touch genie. I'll call genie. Okay, there is a file called genie. I want to copy that. So, copy genie uh, to where? To documents. Okay. Let's say I have all the documents. When I take it there, so home plus to desktop documents. Okay, I'm going to say ls documents. So, what do we have here inside documents? We have genie. All right. We have uh, this file, and we have a new file tested. And these are buffers. Just don't worry about them. All right. So <coughs> inside that we have genie. What if I want it uh, now with a different name there? All right. I want I want it to have a different name there. So I want to copy the same file there with a different name. Let's do that. Mm. First, I will delete that. Okay. Minus RF. Okay, I'm going to open Genie. Let's see, can I? Yes. Okay, I'm just. Okay, not this. Genie is not the. Genie from Aladdin 
So it means continuous. Okay. I just type something here. I'm gonna close it. All right. I'm gonna say cat genie. It's gonna show me the contents of it. Yes. What is there? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna change the name. All right. I'm gonna copy to the same directory. Let's say copy genie as genie backup right so now we have genie backup I'm gonna say genie backup so it's the same thing right so I will delete genie backup here so rm removes the file R switch recursively does that and we have does it for file and directories, alright? So it's not going to ask you, are you sure or something if you don't use R? Or if it's going to ask you, okay, it's a directory, I can't do it, are you sure or something? Since we are sure, so I'm using RF switch, right? So we want to remember that. So that is how you do it. And then we have R minus, we don't want to remove Genie. And we have CP genie <coughs> to home go to desktop documents in that genie two right So there you go. Genie is not the genie from Aladdin, but it means genius. Okay. I'm going to say remove R minus RF. I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to remove genie too. Okay. <coughs> RM removes files and directories. I already showed you that. Stat lists the general statistics of the file or file system. So let's say I do a stat. Stat wallpapers. And I do stat minus F wallpapers. What's the difference? We'll see the difference. I mean, that's when it's, it's about the file system, that's about you not know, just general statistics. It's going to say access, you know, when it's accessed, when it was modified, when was it changed, you know, what are the blocks, you know, blocks, inodes, how many are available, and all that stuff, all right? So, next, we're going to move to 41. Oh, we did, we did finish it. The end of the unit 4, naughty less. I mean, how can we... Do it without the Nautilus, man. I don't know where the Nautilus is. Where is that? Okay, is this one? File browser. So when you open, uh, since I've logged in as Gucci, and uh, when I open file browser, it will open my home directory, right? So then we have desktop. Inside desktop, we have all these things that you see here. Or I can just click this one, my computer, that opens. And I can click this one. You click this one, whatever that you double click, and I just want to open up that one, alright? Or you can just say, if you are in a terminal, just say Nautilus. There you go. Well, that's all for now, and uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, alright? And till then, you take care. And have a great day. Bye-bye.